Hi, I'm Noah, and you're watching Little Apartment Life. This is a tutorial for how to make an oscillator from a 555 timer. First, I'm going to show how to set it up on a breadboard, and then, in case you're curious, I'm going to explain how a 555 timer functions as an oscillator. Make sure you have the 555 timer set so that the notch is facing to the left. I'm using a 5 volt power source on this one and running it through a 200 ohm resistor and then connecting that to pin 8 on the 555 timer. The resistor here is technically unnecessary and will cause the output frequency to be lower than calculated. Pin 1 should then be connected to the ground. Pin 4 is the reset, which is active low, so we want to pull it high by connecting it to the power source since we have no interest in resetting the 555 timer. We then want to connect the threshold at pin 6 to the trigger at pin 2. Next, we connect the first resistor between pin 8 and the discharge at pin 7, and then connect the second resistor between pin 7 and the threshold at pin 6. Here, I am using a 620 ohm resistor for R1 and a 10,000 ohm resistor for R2. Along with the two resistors, we need to add a capacitor between pin 6 and the ground. Be sure to connect the capacitor with the negative side going to ground. Here I'm using a 22 microfarad capacitor. Now let's connect an LED light to the output so that we can see it working. If you chose not to put a resistor going to the power source of the 555 timer, then you'll probably want to attach a resistor to the LED here. Here is the equation to get the desired output frequency depending on what combination of resistors and capacitor you use. I intentionally chose a combination that would produce a low enough frequency that we could see the light blink. 